So this is my um, entry to the uh, YU and Antinatalist contest and I thought I'd do it outdoors because I haven't written a script or anything like that. I'm just, because because I'm doing Why Am I an Antinatalist, I thought I'm just going to sort of like like share my, like my personal just sort of like view on it. I'm not like, I haven't scripted anything or I'm not aiming to make any like arguments. It's just my sort of general sort of uh, outlook that I've, you know, it's the way I think at the moment and it's got me to like, to like an antinatalist conclusion. So yeah, I think uh, like the main sort of um, like conclusion I got to that got me to antinatalism is just recognizing that like creating someone else, I, I'm just talking about like me for now. Like obviously I have views about procreation generally or or whatever but I'm just talking about me for for me to create someone else just seems completely pointless when I look at it from like their point of view I mean obviously I can look at it selfishly but I could do that in like loads of other aspects of my life and it's not necessarily good to act selfishly right um, so when I look at it from the point of view of like the person I'd be creating I just see nothing to gain from that. I mean, sure, if I created them, I could, you know, try and help them have what would be considered a good life, but the only reason that they need that in the first place or even want it is, like, because I created them. It makes no sense. It just, like, goes around in circles. And then, to add on top of that pointlessness and the fact that they can't gain anything from it because the only thing that they could gain from it is is a what's called a good life, um, but they're only satisfying a desire that I was the one who put in them in the first place. Um, and yeah, on top of all of that pointlessness, um, there's like a whole load of risk involved in that, and 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 guaranteed suffering as well, um, and and death as well. Like you know, I'm not looking forward to dying. I don't know how I'm going to die. Um, and if I can't answer those questions like, about my own life, then like what position am I in to put that on someone else? It just seems ludicrous to me. Um, and I would, I would genuinely consider myself to have had like a relatively good life compared to most people that have ever lived or currently live today. I probably have like an amazing life. Um, I'm, you know, I, I don't spend my days lamenting or anything like that. Um, my life, I just, I just don't think it makes sense. You know, it, it would have been better off never started in the first place, but you know, we're here. Um, so I might as well try and have a good time whilst I'm here. Um, and I think, I think like one of the, one of the things that like, I really, um, like makes me get to the conclusion that it's kind of pointless to create someone is um, and it gets like a bit philosophical here but it's it's like the difference between like when you create someone you, you're just like creating them and then in them all the desires that they will have in life and the capacities for you know joy or, or suffering or whatever um, but that's all you're doing when you're creating them is just creating those desires needs etc and capacities but you're not um, it that's separate from the experiences that will then go to fulfill them right so a lot of people point to uh, a lot of people point to you know joyous things in life like um, you know friendships uh, family bonds um, you know, and then more materialist things as well people will point to and they say, the, you know, these things make life worth living or they make life good. But they're only good because they serve to satisfy a desire, right? So, sure, they're good because they satisfy a desire, but that doesn't provide any justification for creating the desire in the first place. Um, that makes no sense to me when you appeal to those things to say that it was good to create the desire because those things weren't good before, they're only good because the desire exists and so you can't appeal to them as being good in order to justify creating the desire if you get what I mean. Like an analogy I often use which I think I'll maybe move away from or try to make better because I think it's sometimes a bit confusing is you know 
w would it make sense to, or would anyone say that it, it, it's a good thing to, to make someone hungry, to instill hunger in someone so that they, ha they have to eat? Right, and and then like it wouldn't make sense to appeal to, you know, oh well now they can eat food, you know, and that, and that's a good thing because they were hungry. Yeah, but you were the one who put the hunger in them in the first place, and the hunger is the desire, right? Like you put this desire in someone, and then they are the ones that have to put the effort in to go about, um, and and fulfill them. And someone might say, oh well, you know, they might they might enjoy fulfilling those desires, but. Like before you created the desires, they never had a desire for joy or, or for, you know, fulfillment or any of these things. And so it just makes no sense to me to appeal to them, one, to create them, but also with the fact that you know those things are all intimately tied to the, like, capacity to suffer and, like, the guarantee of death and the risk of, like, massive amounts of harm. Um, I think, like... If, if you step back and sort of um, try and appreciate like the, 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 the magnitude of what you're doing when you're creating someone, like you, you're literally doing the most significant thing you can do to someone else, which is create them, because then you put them at risk of ev anything that could happen to them in, in their life. Um, and, and then I think it, like, if you try and like step back and take a sober view of life, um, you can kind of then think like, Surely this is some something that, you know, there, the way I see it, there aren't any pros, but, you know, it, if you were looking at it from a point of view of there were pros, because that's how most people see it. Okay, so you've got pros and cons, and the pros can be big, but the cons can also be very big, including death, which is a big con. Um, surely this is a decision that, you know, someone should you know, contemplate, you know, uh, the pro, these are the pros and the cons, like consider them, like weigh them against each other and then make a decision. Do I want to like, do, do I want to live? Do I want a life? But obviously someone can't do that because they don't exist. It's, it, it's impossible, right? Um, and just because it's impossible for someone, for someone to do that to themselves, like why does that make it okay for one person to make that decision on someone else's behalf? I, like I, just because some person who is a figment of my imagination, some possible future child I may have, that's just totally made up in my head, just because they can't make a very serious decision on, on their own because they don't exist, like why does that, what then gives me the authority to make that decision for them? Even if I think that it would be um, what they would want, which also doesn't make sense because they don't exist to have any wants, but whatever. Um, and then I think the final like thing I would just say is like um, you know whatever whatever like reason I could conjure up in my head to like convince myself that creating someone else is is a good idea. Um, I always just think like okay, well, what if I did that, and and they get to I don't know, you know, twenty two, twenty three, or whatever, and then they you know they like come to me and they say I'm just having like the shittest time like this it, yeah I just I'm not enjoying this um, and I'm, I'm thinking about like tapping out I'm thinking about like exiting um, and then they ask me like why just like just like I don't like I'm not holding it against you but just like I just I just want to know like why did you create me like I just like um, I just want to know what the reason was like what reason could I come up with that is going to be like good enough to answer that question? Like I, I don't think there is an answer um, good enough. Um, I, I just don't, I, I just, if, if, if there's a risk of that happening, which, which there is, you know, like um, people killing themselves is, is like a, a large cause of death worldwide. It's not uncommon, it's, this is not like it, I, it's not like I'm appealing to something that is like a, a rare thing that would like definitely not happen to the person I like may have created. Um, this is something that could like very realistically happen to them. Um, I just don't think I have a good answer to give them. Um, and so I'm just not going to risk putting any, like I'm not going to risk putting anyone 
in that position. Um, and, uh, and yeah, that is why like, I personally am an anti-natalist.